man, he's freaking gorgeous. I'm gonna be doing a water change on him pretty soon here. Did pull out a lot of the poop and stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a big water change. I did, just did a test and stuff. I don't see any ammonia, but the water's looking a little kind of grayish, so I wanna just kind of clear everything out of there and get all the floaties out. Uh, the filters aren't really the best filters. I'm gonna end up, eventually end up uh, upgrading this to a I don't know, probably a canister. I was thinking like a sump or a canister or something, but uh, for the most part, I think I'm just gonna stick with what I have until I can get that. Yeah, this guy is just absolutely awesome. If you put your face up to the thing that's why I was in the video, I was trying to go like this to see if he would do it. He backs up and then yeah, when you go forward, he hits the glass, it's the funniest thing. He's so crazy cool. None of my other flower horns are like this. This guy's just super aggressive. Tommy is is super aggressive, but he's not. He doesn't chase you you like this. Like he'll follow you from one end of the tank and stuff. But he's not like crazy going for your hands and like you know. Look at his little head. He's just the cutest. Yeah, give you kind of like a size comparison. There's my hand and there's him. He's he's pretty tiny. His head just makes him look massive, but I thought he was as big as the other uh, fish that I have Bowser, so and here's another thing too. So I know I'm doing like this random video and just talking kind of, you know, sparingly, but uh so yesterday when I got this guy um, the guy that I got him from that uh, deals with flower horns and he actually sells me the food and stuff like that um, He actually did a venting he, he vented the uh, What I thought was a was a male uh, because of the big huge cock that uh, she has is actually a female So uh, Tommy and her have been kind of getting spunky in the tank and just you know back and forth trying to rub up on the, the divider there, so um, it's pretty cool to see, but at the same time, I was I was kind of hoping that one to be a male. But I mean, it's got a it's got a cock gene anyways, so I'm not too worried. But uh, it's pretty cool to see, you know, a little fish like this with such a big head at this age. It's it's absolutely stunning and it, it's incredible. I'm super super happy about it. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. And just barely touched the glass, and he's right up and ready to get you. I don't know, like, I'm thinking the bow front's kind of giving him a little bit of, like, a, a dizzy spill, kind of, because, you know, the bow and everything, how they have to look out the front of it is kind of, um, it's almost like looking at a, a fisheye lens and stuff like that, so. I'm kind of worried about him, like, getting too stressed or whatever in the bow front, so I might, what I might do is... I'll probably keep this because I'm trying to make it look like it's brand new. I'm going to buy a new tank that actually fits this um, and keep it for something else. I'm not sure yet, but um, might just get a nice square tank for the corner here. Nice square little 55-gallon tank, and he'll be totally good in there.
look at him getting all riled up. And his colors are just going to shine more. I'm trying to feed him this stuff. It's uh, Excalibur Diamond Dust. Um, I actually get this from WTF Aquariums as well. They actually order it from the U.S. and uh, they get it down here. And it's it's really good stuff. I just have to uh, I have to get him to like it. He's not really liking it too much. He kind of takes it and spits it out. The other ones they just absolutely despise it. They'll eat like the X the Excalibur um, Super Red or whatever it is or Extreme Red, um, which I also have that. This guy eats that one, but um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how it's or how the uh, why they don't like it, I guess. You know, it's got pretty good ingredients in it and stuff like that, so. And crude protein, 41%. Crude fat, 5%. And fiber, 4%. Yeah. If any of you guys are ever interested in this, um, I'll have to figure out. I think it's, yeah, it's made in the U.S. by Excalibur. So, I mean, if you go on the website, it's just Excalibur.com. You can find this stuff. Um, and if you live anywhere in Canada, my buddy can actually ship it to you. So uh, if you guys want to talk more on that or link on that, I can actually um, send him your way um, or any just private message me, and uh, we can we can work something out. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty decent food for the most part. Yeah, it was crazy. This that, normally these guys would take, you know, they would take a little bit of time to see if he'll kind of get mad at the bay because there's a flower horn on it. Oh yeah, he is. See, the thing is too, I was thinking about moving him to the 55. So, you guys seen the 55? How I had it split where. Um, the female is like in this much room and then the male, uh, obviously Tommy is like over in the uh, the other side there. <clears throat> but uh, I was thinking about moving the female, she's a little bit bigger, over to the bigger side and moving this guy to the smaller side so they can see each other and I don't have to do any grooming, it's just they, they both you know, can continue to grow their heads and everything. Um, and this guy's always going to have that gene, he's not going to lose that gene as long as I keep his water clean. You know, keep him nice and healthy, feed him the proper stuff, his head won't ever shrink. Um, and that's, you know, a common thing with flower horns, they get stressed and they, they start to to shrink their heads and stuff, so. Um, yeah, that's 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 pretty much what happened with the other one too, Picard, when, uh, when I had to put him down. Um, but he had a whole different story. His head just started shrinking two days after, his stomach swelled up, and uh, I think he just got sick from something else. Um, I know it wasn't the tank because, you know, I've had, you know, Tommy back in this tank. This guy's in here. His stomach is, you know, as you can see, just full of food and not, not swollen. Um, and his head's still inflated. He's got, you know, a little bit of deformities on the top of his head because um, my buddy that, w that gave him to me uh, fed him the mass effect from Excalibur. Um, it's a little bit too much protein. So he's like, yeah, we'll stop the protein. Just give him some diamond dust. So now I just have to really get him uh, used to the diamond dust and stuff. But, uh, yeah, he's going to look beautiful when he's older. So I'm really, really happy to have you guys on this journey with this fish. Um, you know, rest in peace to Picard. He was, he was, looks almost exactly like this guy. Um, and in no way is my, am I trying to replace Picard, but uh, I still did want a baby flower horn to grow up. So seeing this guy at the size he is and he's not stressed or anything just makes me super, super happy. You know, and of course, I'm going to do a lot of playing with this guy. You know, Tommy and the other one, they uh, they like the mirror time. You know, I give them that mirror time once in a while. But uh, for the most part, they are a medium cock gen, or gene, I guess I could say. Um, so they're not really going to grow any bigger. They're, they just kind of, now that I have them both in the same tank, um, they kind of just bounce off each other. So I don't really have to worry too much about, uh, about them um, being groomed at all because they can groom each other. Um, so it's not a big issue, but this guy here what we're gonna do is we're gonna constantly groom him because he's alone He's not in any other tank with any flower horn So we're gonna groom him with the mirror obviously like the flower horn on there I can leave that for you know 15 minutes. You'll see that guy and You know no, no matter what he'll he'll be groomed and stuff So and he gets a lot of play time as well. So you know, I'm working long hours and long days but um, 
when I come home, like what I'm doing now is I'm spending some time with him just so he, you know, can de-stress from the day of being alone um, and just get that play time and stuff. So, you know, they're, they're pretty much like underwater puppies. You got to give them lots of love and they're very, uh, they got a lot of, a lot of personality once you give them that chance to, uh, to express it. Like this guy, he, uh, right from the get go, um, I seen videos of him and he's still as spunky as when, when he was in the videos. So. It just goes to show the amount of uh, care that you give a fish. Um, it'll it'll provide that happiness for you that you that you want to see. And, you know he's got the little golf ball to play with in here. Right now he's just he's seeing his reflection in the bottom as well. You can see him. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm either going to find some like somebody that can do really good uh, tile work with uh, aquarium silicone and make sure it's completely sunk down and it's all around the uh, where it's supposed to be on the edge all around here um, because what I what I really want to do is have it all black and then have some white tile on the bottom um, kind of like how they do out in Thailand and stuff it just keeps it a lot cleaner and then they can't see the reflection on the bottom um, and the only reflection they're gonna see is either in the mirror um, or obviously on the side if there's algae or something or you know but uh, I enjoy it, you know, I, I enjoy keeping these, these types of fish, you know, you guys have seen me so far keeping, um, you know, the planted tanks and all the little tiny fish and then I, I moved over to the, you know, the puffers and all that type of stuff, I still had Tommy at that time, um, he was pretty much there since the start of my channel, um, and I, I've always had a love for flower horns ever since I was super, super young, so it just, it, it just makes me super happy to have my favorite fish times three inside my house right now you know like obviously the living quarters for Tommy and Bowser or whatever the uh, the female there uh, we do need a name for her so if anybody wants to drop some names down in the comments um, and we'll just go f go through whatever one gets the best likes on it we'll definitely uh, see but yeah it's uh, I'm just really really hoping that uh, those two can get upgraded soon um, I'm just looking at a, at a different tank here pretty soon um, just something that's a little bit longer probably about six feet so I can divide it into in half so they at least have you know a, a fair enough space right now because the female is a little bit smaller um, she is on the smaller side and Tommy's obviously the biggest fish that that's in that tank so he he's obviously gonna get the bigger side but eventually I will have you know proper living space for them and stuff like that so it's not gonna be too much of an issue um, yeah that's pretty much about it yeah and, and, and again you know like I really appreciate you guys sticking around on this channel um, it, yeah honestly it's one of the, it's one of the the best things that have that has happened to me so far you know like being able to set up my, my channel and stuff like that and this is just me talking you know from the from the heart here um, it, this is all just off the dome I'm just making a random video just to chat with you guys and just uh, you know I haven't made any videos this long so I thought you know why not just show off the little peanuts and uh, and just show you guys what's going on um, sorry for the reflection in the back and all that you know just showing him around but uh, yeah you know life of flower home keeping I guess is what I'm going to now um, my name will never change on there I was, I was gonna I was gonna probably change it to like flower horn lover or or just something different, but uh, I think I'm just going to keep it the same. It's been like that for some time now, so might as well. But uh, yeah, he's gotten way more used to his tank. He he was spunky as soon as he, you know, maybe half an hour in, he was he was already up and playing, and you know, he's a pretty awesome little dude. So and the colors, like I noticed, uh, he's got some golds kind of right down by his his back fin there. He's got some gold and some blues and some blacks and some reds. He's just got a mix of colors. It's just a gorgeous fish all, all around. And if you guys want, we can uh, cut it here. I just got. I'm in the process of cleaning my house, so I just I'm going to cut cut the video here and uh, bring you guys over to Tommy and uh, Bowser's tank. We'll talk a little bit bit about them too. Obviously, you guys have seen uh, seen some videos about them, um, so that we probably won't talk about them as much, but just uh, take a look at them and probably do some mere time with them or something. Um, so yeah, we'll cut this here and we'll go to the next video. Alright guys, so I'm back with the second part of this video. So, um, basically, uh, so I'm going to tell basically a little story, just kind of like how I did um, with this guy on my Instagram. 
or I don't even think I posted that one yet. But uh, so Helga here, um, which was Helga and then turned into Bowser and now is uh, nameless because uh, at first I didn't know if it was male, if it was female. Um, the people that owned uh, her before um, actually had her vented, I guess, and I, I don't know if the guy was experienced or not, but uh, he vented the fish and said that it was a male. Uh, just because of the head, but uh, I do I did some more research in the ridge on the you know the back dorsal fin and all that type of stuff as well as you know being vented from the bottom um, You know you can see how it kind of goes to the front curves to the front so we found out that it's a female so I'm not sure um, Exactly what we're gonna name this fish. So again, I'll you know if you guys want to put that in the comments We'll we'll pick a name that uh, suits suits the fish the best but uh, for right now we as as I know it's a female so uh, Tommy's getting a little bit spunky with her through the uh, the gate here he tried to knock it over a little while ago but uh, they kind of just play together and you know keep some keep some company and stuff so to me it's pretty awesome yeah so I have it split like this I did move it over a tiny bit more but what I plan on doing is moving it probably to here just to give them just to give her a little bit more room. Tommy will still have a lot of room from there to there. Um, so I'm not too, too worried about that. But uh, I do want to give her a little bit more room. Just to see what uh, what happens. I mean, she could end up breeding with him. You know, they don't even have to be in the same side together. She could lay eggs there and he could, you know, somehow spray his sperm over there or something, you know. It's all in, you know, water's going to spread, you know, all this stuff around. For the most part, they're doing really good though. I haven't had any problems with them. Tommy's, you know, I'm not sure exactly how old he is. When I first got him, I thought he was 1.5 years old. My buddy's saying he's around two years old, um, so we're not too sure. But uh, he's a pretty big boy for, for his age, for sure. His head's not gonna grow any bigger. It's kind of like widened a little bit, but it's not, um, it's not growing any bigger kind of from here and on. It's more of just going to stay the medium size, as well as the female here. That's not going to get any bigger. Um, it's very rare that you see a female with a head that size, but uh, it's pretty cool to see at the same time, I guess. Yeah, and you can see she's not as crazy. Obviously, Tommy is not crazy at all with it he kind of just follows your fingers you know he's kind of just more laid back he's pretty aggressive once your hands in there like doing stuff you know trying to move stuff around on him he gets pretty pissed off uh, this one you can actually pet like i'll show you guys i think i've showed you guys before but uh she, she might still do it or maybe not she's probably too aggressive now yeah she's too aggressive now she's been in the tank with a male so she's not gonna let me pet her. But when she was in her own tank, she used to let me pet her all the time and everything. So, yeah, she's a really pretty female, that's for sure.